In this week's EV news, big car makers lobby the UK to weaken or delay EV rules. Neo sales up 31% in 2023. EVs take over 28% share of the UK market in December. And Neo live streams a 1000 km trip on a single charge. First up from The Guardian, it's that big car makers lobbied the UK to weaken or delay electric car rules. The Guardian are reporting that several of the world's biggest car makers lobbied the UK government to try to weaken or delay rules to accelerate electric car sales and cut Britain's carbon emissions. Toyota, Jaguar Land Rover and Nissan were among the companies to ask for delays in enforcement of the zero emission vehicle mandate that obliges them to sell increasing proportions of electric cars or face heavy fines. However, Volkswagen, Ford and Tesla argued that the ZEV mandate should be tougher. In September, Rishi Sunak pushed back a ban from 2030 on all sales of petrol and diesel cars to 2035. However, despite delaying the flagship green policy, the government stuck with the related ZEV mandate plans to force car makers to sell more and more electric cars each year. Under the ZEV mandate, 22% of new cars sold in 2024 must be zero emission, a figure that rises steadily to 80% by 2030. The car makers who backed delaying the full ZEV mandate argued that the rules came too late for them to change production plans to increase electric vehicle sales. Japan's Toyota, the world's top car seller in 2022, but a laggard in the electric car race, said it was extremely concerned by the UK targets up to 2027, which would be challenging for manufacturers like Toyota and could cause financial and brand damage. JLR has the most UK car factories producing Jaguar and Land Rover cars, but is only now launching its second electric car, a Range Rover, five years after its first, the I-Pace. The manufacturer said it was far from certain that car makers could hit targets and that targets in the early years are set to unachievable levels. After the lobbying, the government included flexibility in the final rules, including provisions to allow car makers to miss targets in one year if they sold more in other years. There was also a provision for manufacturers of fewer than two and a half thousand cars a year that exempts them from the rules until 2030. The British sports car makers, Aston Martin Lagonda and McLaren, both argued that they would be unable to meet the targets. Other manufacturers strongly backed the rules. The US car makers Ford and Tesla argued that the government should force car makers to sell even more electric cars. Ford said it believes that the suggested trajectory can be met by many manufacturers across the UK market and will ensure that those that are lagging accelerate their development appropriately with the option of trading certificates to make up any shortfalls. Germany's Volkswagen, the world's second largest car maker, said the targets were ambitious but seem to be generally feasible. Clean Technica are reporting that Neo sales are up 31% in 2023. Neo had another strong year with sales rising 30.7% throughout the full year. The Chinese EV startup ended with 160,038 sales, up from 122,486 in 2022. Now, these are impressive results in absolute general terms, but they are extra impressive when you consider how hyper competitive the Chinese EV market is, where Neo still sells almost all of its EVs. The chart here clearly shows the impressive growth in vehicle sales, so that's yearly deliveries, from 2020 to 2023. The sales in the fourth quarter, which were just over 50,000 units, were up 25% compared to the fourth quarter of 2022, where they sold just over 40,000 units. So excellent growth there from Neo. Another article from Clean Technica is that December saw plug-in EVs take 28.4% share of the UK auto market, which is down year on year from 39.4% as deliveries were held back to meet new 2024 mandates. The full year 2023 BEV volume was up by 18% from 2022. They report that Tesla was December's leading battery electric vehicle brand and the Tesla Model Y was the 2023's best selling. December saw combined EVs take 28.4% share, with full electrics taking 19.7% and plug-in hybrids taking 8.6%. December's year-on-year -year comparison looks weak, partly because the end of 2023 experienced a holdback ahead of a policy change coming into effect in 2024. The new 2024 ZEV mandate requires auto manufacturers to meet a minimum share of 22% ZEV sales for the full year and getting higher in future years. Holding back some proportion of Q4 23's deliveries until Q1 24 helps manufacturers meet the tight new 2024 targets 
and avoid very substantial fines, up to £15,000 for every non-BEV that they sell. Q124 should bounce back to higher than average BEV share as the delayed deliveries are finally fulfilled. They're also reporting that internal combustion engine vehicles continued their downward trend in share, with petrol-only vehicles having spent the past two months at under 40% market share, which is a new record, and diesel-only vehicles having spent the past four months under 4% market share, which is also a new record. And finally, they confirmed that Tesla was back to the top spot for the BEV brands in December, taking 19.8% share of the market. And there's a recovery from November and October where Audi and BMW took the top spot. Finally, the energy mix are reporting that the Chinese EV maker NIO live streams a thousand kilometer trip on a single charge. The Chinese electric vehicle manufacturer NIO is bragging about a semi-solid state battery that can power a 1,044 kilometer road trip after the company's CEO demonstrated the product in a 14 hour live stream. By covering such a long distance, William Lee showed how the battery would help overcome the range anxiety often cited as a key obstacle to widespread EV adoption. Along with the code driver, Lee steered the Neo ET7 large sedan down China's east coast. Excluding stops and brakes, the trip took 12.4 hours and used Neo's autonomous driving system 92% of the time. The EV travelled at an average speed of 83.9 km per hour with an average energy consumption of 13.2 kilowatt hours per 100 km. The 150 kilowatt hour semi-solid state battery had a 3% charge remaining at the end of the trip and was created by Beijing battery maker we Leon New Energy Technology. The NEO expects to begin mass production in April 2024. The batteries NEO currently offers for its EVs include 75 and 100 kilowatt hour options that use standard liquid electrolytes. But despite the different capabilities, the batteries share the exact same dimensions and can be swapped out and used interchangeably in NEO vehicles. The NEO uses the battery swapping capabilities to overcome the long charging times that are another key reason customers hesitate to buy EVs. In China, customers can buy a NEO without a battery then subscribe to a battery service for a monthly fee. Not only does this help keep the car affordable amid high battery costs, but it also allows drivers to avoid the long wait for charging by simply swapping the battery out at a service centre, a process that takes five minutes. This means that most drivers who don't actually need to cover a thousand kilometres at a stretch can subscribe to a lower capacity battery power source and upgrade for longer one-off trips. Well, there you go, folks. That's this week's EV news. If you enjoyed it, then please click the like button down below and leave your comments. Let me know what you think of these news items. And if you haven't done so already, then why not subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you get notified when I load up a new video. Well, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.